guys. Welcome back to Math with Miss L. It is time to talk about tables, tables, and tables. Remember, stay tuned for the very end of the video because I will be announcing our 12-day giveaways. We already have so many cool prizes. Stay tuned and see if you were picked. You had to have liked our videos, left a comment, and be subscribed. We'll see who gets to win. Stay tuned for that. And before I forget, we are currently selling our candy cane grams. All proceeds will be going to our fourth grade Austin field trip. So if you'd like a candy cane gram for you, it'll be $1. If you'd like it, if you would like it to be personally given, it'll be $2. Or if you'd like one for your whole entire class, it's only $10. So make sure to get them before you run out. Um, we are selling them every day in the mornings before school, during lunches, or if you'd like to stop by my classroom, Miss L's classroom, room 25, feel free to do that. Okay, let's jump in right into the video. All right, guys, so we are talking about my one of my favorite topics. Oh my goodness, we are talking about tables. So why are tables so important? Well, they give us info or information. So very quick, some important vocabs, vocab words to remember are input. We know that goes with output. We have in, that'll get paired up. Let's not do arrows, that'll get paired up with out. We have position, and that'll get paired up with value. So these words will usually always go together. Make sure they can either be on your left side to right or right to left. Um, another thing to make sure you understand is that when you are dealing with tables or data, you always, always want to find the rule. So y'all learned that in third grade. So this is a flashback to third grade. I know you already know this. Find the rule, which means to find you already got it, the relationship between those two numbers. So rule starts with an R, relationship starts with an R. So make sure you are finding those. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into an example. Oh, let's go back very quick. So on one of yours up here, it says that we have our input. Let's go ahead and just call this in and we'll call this out. It says we have a three and we have 27. We have four and we have 36, and we have a blank and we have 63. So first thing to kiddos and parents, what you always wanna make sure your kiddos do is make sure they go from one side to the other. So you could go from in to out. I always have us draw an arrow so we know which way we're looking. If I'm going from my in number to my out number, I'm trying to go from three to 27. Well, you could say, oh, Miss Fuente, what if I added up to 27? Or you could do 27 take away 3. You could say, oh, Miss LaFuente, I just need to add 24 and I'll get 27. Well, yes, that's true. But now that rule has to stay the same and it has to move forward. So if I did 4 plus 24, well, am I getting 28? No. So our plus 24 cannot be our rule. So if we take addition out, well, we have subtraction. Three minus a number can't give you a bigger number, so subtraction is out. So we have addition is out, subtraction is out. Oh, those look like stars, how fun. Um, now we have division or multiplication. Well, with division, three, if that's my total, I'm just gonna get a smaller number by dividing. So I'm not gonna get 27, so it can't be that. And then I have multiplication left. So let's try that. now. If you are still not the best with your multiplication facts, I would be doing my tic-tac-toes for my threes until I get to 27. So three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. Hey, 27. Well, tw three times what gave you 27? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three times nine, that gave you 27. Four times nine, if you're not sure there, well, you're doing tic-tac-toes for fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. 
There's that nine. Awesome. Uh-ohs. Well, that solves the rule for times nine. If I'm going from input or in to out, what happens when I go from out to in? Just like I've said over here, very, very carefully, remember to find the relationship means to find the rule. So if you're going from out to in, what I tell my kids is that if you're going in the opposite direction of your rule, then you do the opposite. So opposite direction equals opposite rule. So if I was once multiplying by 9, I'm now going to divide by 9. So 63 divided by 9. If we're not sure, hopefully we're counting by 9s until we get to 63. So 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So our answer here is 7. And you can always check it by going the normal way, like you did from in to out, and doing your regular rule and seeing if you get that answer. All right, guys, that's all for one example. Let's go ahead and look at a second example. So this is an example that comes straight from your homework. This is where it could get tricky, and it could be a two-step rule. Woo, so be careful. It could be a two-step rule. So this comes from table E. So we have our position, we have our value. So position in value. Very quick, if you have 100 and you have 12, you have 50 and you have 7, 10, 3, blank, and 8. Well, I always like to go from position to value because that's just my preference. I like to go from left to right. So I told my kids, well, you really just have to try like trial and error. So trial and error. So just try some stuff. For time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and just say, well, if you multiply by anything, you're just going to get a bigger number. So you won't multiply. If you add anything, you're just going to get a bigger number and you won't get 12. Well, if you subtract something, well, 100 take away a number has to give me 12. So if I do that, 88, well, I can't take away 88 here because I would have a small number in the front. I can't do that. So I'm not going to subtract. I'm not going to add. I'm not going to multiply. So by trial of elimination, I'm going to divide. And if I have a 10 right here, well, I'm just going to go ahead and divide by 10. Well, 100 divided by 10 is the same thing as 10 times blank gives you 100. Hopefully, we're thinking it's 10. Now, to get to 12, I'm just going to add 2. Well, for 50, if I divide that by 10, remember, that's the same thing as um, 10 times blank gives you 50. Hopefully, you're saying 5. Now, to get to 7, I'd still need to add 2 to 5. So it's working out so far. So 10 divided by 10 is 1 plus 2 does give me 3. Now, what happens here? Let's zoom in just a bit. What happens here whenever we have our value but not our position? We have to go the opposite way. So for each of these, you'd have to do the opposite. So if I'm dividing 10, I'm going to multiply by 10, and I'm going to add 2. So maybe I would write that this way. Multiply by 10 and add 2. So either way, if you like to write it like this, I like to write it like this just so I see, okay, from 8, I multiply by 10, I get 80, and then I add 2, so I get 88. Well, if you divided that by 10, if you were going the regular way to check, 88 divided by 10, oh, sorry, 80 plus 2 is 82. See, always have to check your work. Okay, so I don't need to subtract, sorry, I don't need to add 2. Remember, opposite is to subtract, so 80 take away 2 would give me 78. So anyways, this part is a little weird. Sorry, we will come back.
just to make sure that I've got it right. We're going to come back to that part. Not the biggest fan of those two steps, but yes. So now, for one more, we have our input-output. So we have our in, we have our out. We have a 3, we have an 18, 4, and 24. We have a 5 and a blank. And then we have a blank and a 48. So with these, students are used to tables going up and down. These are going sideways, which is horizontal. You still want to have them go from in to out or from out to in, whatever their preference is, whatever way they see it. So I like to go from in to out. So I'm going to go from 3 to 18. Well, I could add 15, but if I add 15, I would get 18. If I add 15 here, I will not get 24. So I'm not going to add 15. Um, I'm not going to divide. I'm not going to subtract because it will give me smaller numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply. So my threes to double check, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. That is times 6. If I times these by 6, 4 times 6 is 24. 5 times 6 is 30. But over here, what happens whenever you are missing this top number? Well, do it the op go the opposite direction. Opposite direction, you do the opposite operation. So I would do 48 divided by 6 now. And remember, tic-tac-toes, if we're not sure how to necessarily count up correctly or if you just want to double check. So 48 divided by 6 is 8. And you can always check it by doing 8 times 6 if you're going down. And it does give you 48. So there we go. Now, last but not least, it is time for our 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. Here we go. So, let's see. All right, guys, so you've been waiting a week. I've been waiting to give out these awesome prizes. I have them all laid out in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and go through our slide to see who is our winner. So here we go. For the first prize, day one giveaway, a big stack of paper. Wide rules. Hello, 150 pages goes to Damien. Damien, come claim your prize tomorrow or sometime this week. Our next giveaway is a stack of pencils, which are already sharpened. Let me let you see. Ta da! And it has an awesome eraser. This goes to Isabella. Congrats. Come claim your prize. Okay, next we have highlighters. So highlighters, we have three awesome highlighters. And if I spelled that wrong, uh-ohs. If I spelled it correct, awesome. Um, did not spell it correctly, so let's fix that soon. Got pink, got blue, and you got yellow. This goes to Sophisticated Rat. Thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. Okay, day four is a package of folders. You have eight, eight folders here, all different colors. Hello, hello, very stylish. These go to Tavion, congrats, shout out to you. Miss you, Come claim your prize. Let's see who else. Sticky notes, I have many, many sticky notes over here, over here, over here. These go to Xavier. nice. Come claim your prize. Thanks for your help in the mornings. Okay. Day six, one of my awesome fun magnets that I have made myself. Check it out, check it out, check it out. So cute. This goes to Miss Antonazzi. Woo -woo, for being subscribed. Thank you. All right, a new notebook. I know a lot of kids are already losing their notebooks. Who are they lost or are out of pages? Who knows? You tell me. Camille, congrats, Camille. Come claim your prize by tomorrow. By this week, I'll be nice. Okay, a box of tissues. It's not just one box. It is three boxes of tissues. And I know allergies are a little crazy right now. This goes to Perla Rivera. If that is your mom or if that is whoever, if it's your YouTube channel, come claim your prize. All right, next we have our light bulb of paper clips. Oh my goodness, I got this um, a year or two ago. No, I got this as a first year teacher, which is two years ago. Oh, it saved me so much. 
If you open it, it's really cool. It's a magnet inside, so it holds paper clips because paper clips are metal. And there's a magnet in there. This goes to Abrian. Congrats. Congrats, Abrian. Okay. Our cup of candy, which is way over there. Some nice little cup of candy. That goes to, let's see, let's see, let's see. Our awesome, beautiful festive cup. So much candy in there. I might even toss in a couple more. This goes to Kaysen R. Come claim your prize. Day 11 is our Nutcracker. And Miss, shout out to Miss Reyes. Woo, look how gorgeous this looks against this beautiful backdrop. This was given to me by Miss Reyes. And the prize winner for this, for 12 days of giveaways, is Christopher R. So come and claim your prize. You are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much. And last, my jumbo wombo crayon. My sister actually made this crayon. Pretty epic. It is huge. It is bigger than my head. It's probably bigger than your head. So this grand prize winner is none other than Jonathan. So congrats, Jonathan. Claim your prize as soon as you can. All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you. Do not forget to, well, first, happy holidays. Don't forget to subscribe, like our videos, comment down below with something positive. And it doesn't have to be about me. It could be about the world, what you like to do, um, something sweet and nice. That's nice to share. So thank you so much. I appreciate you once again. Happy holidays, guys. Have a blast. We only have one more week of school. Do not forget once in for all candy cane grams, make sure to grab one. They're delicious. Bye, guys.